Being Gay, Malaysia vs Singapore Hello and welcome to our video on being gay in Malaysia and Singapore. In this video, we will explore the differences in attitudes, laws, and rights of the LGBTQ plus community in these two neighboring Southeast Asian countries. Background, before we dive into the current situation, let's take a look at the historical context. Both Malaysia and Singapore inherited anti-sodomy laws from the British colonial past. These laws criminalize consensual same-sex relations, and have been used to discriminate and persecute LGBTQ plus individuals. Legal status. In Malaysia, same-sex relations are illegal under Section 377A of the Penal Code, with punishment of up to 20 years imprisonment and whipping. Meanwhile, Singapore also has a similar law under Section 377A of the Penal Code, which carries a maximum punishment of two years imprisonment. Both countries have faced criticism from human rights organizations and the international community for their anti-LGBTQ plus laws. Attitudes The attitudes towards LGBTQ plus individuals in Malaysia and Singapore are also different. In Malaysia, the majority of the population, who are Muslim, hold conservative views on sexuality and gender. Same-sex relations are often viewed as immoral and against religious teachings. On the other hand, in Singapore, attitudes towards LGBTQ plus individuals are slowly changing, with a growing acceptance among the younger generation. However, there is still a significant portion of the population who hold conservative views. Rights. In terms of LGBTQ plus rights, both Malaysia and Singapore have a long way to go. In Malaysia, there are no laws protecting LGBTQ plus individuals from discrimination, and transgender individuals face legal obstacles when it comes to identification documents. In Singapore, while there are some legal protections against discrimination, same-sex marriage is not recognized, and adoption by same-sex couples is also not allowed. Religious influence. One major difference between Malaysia and Singapore is the religious influence on their societies. Malaysia is an Islamic country, where Islam is the official religion, and religious teachings play a significant role in shaping societal norms and values. This has resulted in a conservative stance towards LGBTQ plus individuals, as homosexuality is considered a sin in Islam. In contrast, Singapore has a multicultural society, with no official religion. While religion still plays a role in shaping attitudes towards LGBTQ plus individuals, it is not as dominant as in Malaysia. Enforcement of anti-LGBTQ plus laws, another significant difference between Malaysia and Singapore is the enforcement of their anti-LGBTQ plus laws. While same-sex relations are illegal in both countries, Malaysia has a more aggressive enforcement of these laws. In recent years, there have been several cases of arrests and convictions of LGBTQ plus individuals, including a high-profile case in 2018 where two women were caned for attempting to have sex. In Singapore, while the law is still in place, there have been no recent cases of arrests or convictions for consensual same-sex relations. LGBTQ plus activism. Despite the challenges faced by the LGBTQ plus community in Malaysia and Singapore, there are still activists and organizations fighting for their rights. In Malaysia, groups like Sexuality Merdeka and Justice for Sisters have been working to raise awareness about the issues faced by LGBTQ plus individuals and to advocate for their rights. In Singapore, groups like Pink Dot and The Tea Project have been working towards increasing visibility and acceptance of LGBTQ plus individuals in society. Impact on mental health. The discrimination and persecution faced by LGBTQ plus individuals in Malaysia and Singapore can have a significant impact on their mental health. Studies have shown that LGBTQ plus individuals in these countries face higher rates of anxiety, depression, and suicide compared to their heterosexual counterparts. This highlights the urgent need for both countries to take steps towards protecting the rights of the LGBTQ plus community and creating a more inclusive and accepting society. In conclusion, being gay in Malaysia and Singapore is a complex issue. While both countries have inherited anti-sodomy laws from their colonial past, their attitudes towards LGBTQ plus individuals and their rights are different. While Singapore is slowly moving towards acceptance, Malaysia remains largely conservative, and both countries have a long way to go when it comes to protecting the rights of the LGBTQ plus community. Thank you for watching our video on being gay in Malaysia and Singapore. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on social issues and human rights.